I'm going to do a quick video on uh, a great, amazing passage in uh, the Manual for Teachers. This is the question, can God be reached directly? <clears throat> uh, is this question, this is number 26 in the Manual for Teachers of A Course in Miracles. Can God be reached directly? God indeed can be reached directly, for there is no distance between him and his son. His awareness is in everyone's memory, and his word is written on everyone's heart. Yet this awareness and this memory can arise across the threshold of recognition only where all barriers to truth have been removed. In how many is this the case? Here, then, is the role of God's teachers. They, too, have not attained the necessary understanding as yet, but they have joined with others. This is what sets them apart from the world. And it is this that enables others to leave the world with them. Alone they are nothing, but in their joining is the power of God. There are those who have reached God directly, retaining no trace of worldly limits and remembering their own identity perfectly. These might be called the teachers of teachers because, although they are no longer visible, their image can be yet called upon, and they will appear when and where it is helpful for them to do so. To those to whom such appearances would be frightening, they give their ideas. No one can call on them in vain, nor is there anyone of whom they are unaware. All needs are known to them, and all mistakes are recognized and overlooked by them. The time will come when this is understood, and meanwhile they give all their gifts to the teachers of God, who look to them for help, asking all things in their name and in no other. Sometimes a teacher of God may have a brief experience of direct union with God. In this world, it is almost impossible that this endure. It can perhaps be won after much devotion and dedication and then be maintained for much of the time on earth. But this is so rare that it cannot be considered a realistic goal. If it happens, so be it. If it does not happen, so be it as well. All worldly states must be illusory. If God were reached directly in sustained awareness, the body would not be long maintained. Those who have laid the body down merely to extend their helpfulness to those remaining behind are few indeed. And they need helpers who are still in bondage and still asleep so that by their awakening can, can God's voice be heard. Do not despair then because of limitations. It is your function to escape from them but not to be without them. If you would be heard by those who suffer, you must speak their language. If you would be a savior, you must understand what needs to be escaped. Salvation is not theoretical. Behold the problem, ask for the answer, and then accept it when it comes. Nor will its coming be long delayed. All the help you can accept will be provided, and not one need you have will not be met. Let us not then be too concerned with goals for which you are not ready. God takes you where you are and welcomes you. What more could you desire when this is all you need? <clears throat> Can God be reached directly? <laughs> Once again, <laughs> Jesus is um, hes not saying it depends. He, he's saying, first of all, first and foremost, uh, yes, God can be reached directly because we because God is all there really is, and and God is here right right here right now, um, for those with eyes to see and ears to hear, right? Um, so yes, God can be reached directly. There's no distance. There's there's really nothing to seek. Ultimately, but um, as far as the experience of God, exper the experience of this non-dual reality beyond all separation and all duality, Jesus is saying that that that, that um, can be experienced in the body, actually, or while we're here on earth, <laughs> um, but it can't be maintained for long. And it, it could possibly, you know, in some rare cases, it could be. 
Um, but there, there's this one line here that's worth reading. Um, if God were reached directly in sustained awareness, the body would not be long maintained. Okay, so so if if we reach that place with within ourselves, so to speak, um, we would be we would be have gone so far beyond the body that the body it, it would be almost like we were dead and, and we would need to um you know we the body wouldn't last very long because we wouldn't be eating we wouldn't be drinking we wouldn't be taking care of the body we probably wouldn't be breathing so the 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 body would not last right we, we would we would completely transcend the world uh, at that point <clears throat> um, Jesus is making a case here for the idea that um, it doesn't really matter, you know, if you if you're there or not. That, that 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 is actually not that important. The important thing is that you continue the work while you're in your body, and you you practice the what um, Jesus is is laying down here in the course, and you. Um, represent the, um, the, the, the essential teachings and you use your body in a way that is, that is helpful, you know, that is, that is, um, sharing, sharing the love. And, uh, you know, no, no one here is perfect and, and don't, don't worry about reaching God. That, 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 that's, you know, it's really not the goal of the course in, in a lot of ways. It's not, you know, this is not a course in, how to how to um, transcend the world and, and reach God? I mean, it is and it isn't. That it's 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 more about how to while you're here in your body to um, to undo the ego and whether you're in you know whether you re are experiencing God or not does not really matter. It it's about sharing the truth, sharing the love. Um, <clears throat> there are those who have reached God directly, retaining no trace of worldly limits and remembering their own identi identity perfectly. These might be called the teachers of teachers because although they are no longer visible, their image can yet be called upon. This is Jesus, right? This is Jesus and others like him. And Jesus says, he's not the only one. This is different than the the quote unquote historical Jesus who um, said, I, I am the way, the truth and the life. And, and no, no one comes to the father except through me. Now that, that, that could be interpreted in, in different ways. You know, that's in the gospel of John. Um, <clears throat> but in the chorus, Jesus says, um, I'm not the only one, you know, but, but Helen had this relationship even before the chorus with Jesus. It was a love-hate relationship. So, so uh, Jesus became the one for her, and uh, well, the important thing is that that Jesus is just a name for for what this is. Jesus is just a symbol for the, a teacher of teachers who goes who who transcends the world. And it's not, not even in the body anymore. Um, so let's read the rest of this. Um, and they will appear when and where it is helpful for them to do so. To those to whom such appearances would be frightening, they give their ideas. No one can call on them. So that, that seems to be um, saying that they might not appear to someone who might be frightened by, by their appearance, but they will give them ideas. They'll they'll plant ideas in their in their head that will that will uh, effectively do the same thing. No one can call on them in vain. Nor is there anyone of whom they are unaware. All needs are known to them, and all mistakes are recognized and overlooked by them. Now this is um, this is really also describing the Holy Spirit, right? And and Jesus throughout the course or it. In uh, actually, in the manual, Jesus says that he is the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. 
Um, so he is, he has become one with the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is this um, thing inside of all of us, the lighthouse that, that reminds us, that's this non-judgmental presence, loving presence, that reminds us that um, to overlook error, to overlook sin, and, and, and see that everything um, can be corrected and there is no sin. And, and we don't need to have, we don't need to be in a place of judgment. So, um, all needs are known to them and all mistakes are recognized and overlooked by them. The time will come when this is understood. And meanwhile, they give all their gifts to the teachers of God who look to them for help, asking all things in their, in their name and no, in no other. This is, uh, not something that we can really understand. I, know, it's, I, I don't want to pretend that I, I, I fully understand it. Um, I do and I don't. Um, so uh, I think that's all, though. There, we, we could actually go, go more deeply into this whole passage. It's a fascinating passage. Um, I think the upshot of it all, though, is, is that, yes, God can be reached directly. I mean, the... The ultimate answer is is that God is all there is. <laughs> so so absolutely God could be reached directly um, because because uh, we are God and and we're we we're God is here right here right now always. <laughs> so so we're always reaching God, you know. That's that's one answer. The the other answer though is is the experience. You could say the holy instant, the the experience, the direct experience of God which which mystics from time immemorial have, have sought, you know, a direct experience of the divine. Jesus is saying, yes, that, that is also possible, even while you're here. Um, <clears throat> but whether you have that experience or not is not crucial. And uh, ultimately, it all comes down to, 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 to doing the practice. Whether you've had the experience or not, I think, I think actually most course students and most people that come to the course or something like it have had some kind of spiritual experience. Um, whether it's a experience of of the of a non dual reality beyond um, name and form and, and all duality, um, that that's another thing. But but most people have had some kind of a spiritual experience or some kind of experience or experiences that have led them to question the, um, the, the, uh, let's say the, the current paradigm, <laughs> the, 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 uh, three dimensional paradigm, uh, scientific and otherwise, uh, otherwise that we, that we subscribe to in our world. So anyway, um, once again, I hope, I hope this is helpful and I'm going to, I'm going to leave it at that and feel free to, to leave a comment or a question and we will continue with the manual and also, uh, continue reading the text of the course. Eventually I'm going to get into the workbook. I'd also like to do, do the song of prayer and some other things, a psycho psychotherapy pamphlet and, uh, maybe some of Helen's poems. So see you soon. Thank you so much.